Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87 and this is Let's Play Trails Through Daybreak Part 31. In the previous video, we well, we did our cave stuff, we fought the boss, I got annoyed because I felt like it was taking forever, uh, it's probably my fault, whatever. Um, we're, we're done with that now. We're going to finish up our last couple of quests and maybe do a little main main story. Just a, just a smidgen. But before that, update on YouTube being a very baffling website. I did my A-B test. Or I uploaded the same video with and without the end screen. Uh, same decibel levels. Significantly different outcome. The one without the end screen has the same level of audio of the raw file approximately the one with the end screen unbelievably loud so I, i've definitely figured it out that was the issue um so i just have to go back and re-rendered out the end screen just made it like much less loud so now it'll maybe be really quiet but the rest of the video should be fine i don't know it's it's just dumb like don't mess with my shit like, just let me upload something with fucked up audio. I'd rather it be fucked up because I messed up and did something stupid than it be because YouTube secretly is going behind my back and saying, hey, we're going to improve this. This is better, right? No, it's not. Please, just don't, just don't do anything. Just be a server, okay? That's all you need to do. The entire fucking history of the YouTube website is nothing but unforced errors. But it's okay. We love them, don't we, folks? I mean, as long as they uh, still keep up the videos I uploaded like 12 years ago on my original channel that hasn't been logged into in, you know, like 12 years, uh, as long as those stay up forever, I will not be that mad at YouTube. As long as, you know, they keep devoting a very small amount of their server space to 14-year-old me, it's okay. We can still be friends. What are What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to the guild. Yes, the guild. Which everyone knows the guild is. Not in this area. That's why I can't find it. We need to be in Newtown. Then let's head over. Oh, we could have gone straight to the bracelet guild. Uh, go to. What up? Warning! Help attention! Reward! Royal decree! What do you mean, royal decree? You motherfuckers got a king up in here? Oh yeah, it's Spriggan guy, aren't you? It's probably old ass. I mean, presumably it's probably at least from Cold Steel, which I guess there would have been royal decrees in that game. It, it could even, well, it wouldn't be an art asset from the Sky games, but those would also have a royal decree. You've got some civilians with you. My name is Xiao Ling, I'm from the Gekka school. Oh, right. That's the school Aaron's a part of. You know, like Ashen said earlier, it's one of the big three martial arts school in the East. And there's a lot of Gekka practitioners in Heiyue, too. Yeah, much to my chagrin. Members of our school are supposed to reject violence, not embrace it. It's one of the core principles of Gekka. That's why I have to set a good example. If a member of the head family indulges in violence, then others will follow suit. Oh, uh, you're part of the school's head family? Must be hard to stay in your ground on that one. Heiyue is always throwing its weight around. I mean, in Heiyue's point of view, uh, they wouldn't have to use violence if everyone would just let them steal their money. I think it's awesome that you're sticking to your guns. You're amazing! D you really think so? Well, thank you. It's important to keep your feet planted in this city, especially when things are on edge. By the way, you got a sec? Uh, what's up? We're in the middle of a job right now, and we were wondering if you could do it for us. You will not receive a cut. You know, teach people some martial arts. Wanna join? How would I help you with one of your requests? Good point. F fair counter. Uh, to which I respond, you have to. It's the way the quest was written. And then you say, no! Um, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. We need someone from the Gekka school, but if you're not feeling it, I'll just hit up some other contacts. Peace. And we'll find the most shadiest, hey -is gangster around. What, what do you mean by other contacts? Hey, duh. Most of them know Gekka skills like the back of their hands. 
The gecko name is practically synonymous with Heiyue these days. Today people will be thrilled to learn from the real pros. And you don't gotta waste any of your precious time, so everybody's happy. How are you gonna guilt trip her over not working for free, Vane, you little... You little punk. Oh, you don't have your precious time to waste on a random person who just walked in and said, Hey, help me with this job that I'm being paid for, but you won't be? Alrighty, catch you on the flip side. I'll do it. Huh? I said I'll do it. I'm going to help whether you like it or not. Are you sure? Yeah, you know, some of the people associate Gek with Heiyue nowadays. But they don't follow the main school's teachings. I'm a student in the original school, so it's my duty to spread the true Gekka style across the world. Alright. Well, I'm glad to have you on board. I didn't know any better. I think you were leading me by the nose. You really know how to twist a knife, don't you? No idea what you're talking about. But Van doesn't use knives. That's a figure of speech. What do you mean the speech has a figure? Okay, let's meet up at the park. Yeah, yeah. I do kind of like the additional, like, bit of lore about Gekka being associated with Heiyue, because I feel like earlier in the game there was a scene where someone says, Oh, Van, do you practice the Gekka style? And he has, like, a very forceful, like, absolutely not. So that, um, kind of explains that. Like, why he was so adamant about, like, no, I'm not a Gekka person. I was born and raised here in Longport. No one wants to practice this place more than me. I'll admit that when it comes to martial arts, my brother has me beat, but I definitely couldn't take on Heiwei by myself. With my dojo mates and my bracer comrades on my side, nothing can stop me. One second. I heard some door slams and some yelling. I had to investigate, make sure nobody was about to get shot. Um, as of right now, there do not seem to be the possibility of gunfire, but you know, you never know. Looking for something to drink? No, I'm not. Okay? Plus you sell buns. I can't drink buns. Yo, we brought the Gekka Bracer Girl like yes. What do you need me to do? First, you'll practice five forms in front of each other. You will show Van the Gekka forms, and then he will show you the Kunlun forms. After that, you will both demonstrate them to my students. God, I recommend it's that no problem. But same here. Okay then, these are the names of the forms. Gekka's Twin Crescent Strike and Swallow Stance. Kunlun's Crushing Fish and... Fish? Crushing Fish! And Rapid Shop. And Taito's Elbow Thrust. So crushing, honestly saying fish will make you remember it better. Crushing fish and Titan Strike. What was it called? Rapid Chop. Hit him with a, hit him with a rapid chop. Wait, hang on. Neither of us know Titan. Who's going to show up that one? I think I can cover that. I've seen Zen use that taking multiple times. For real, you're a lifesaver. We'll be cheering you on. Good luck, you two. All right then, shall we practice? Let's well, ready as I'll ever be. Very well then, Twin Crescent Strike. Okay. Swallow Stance. Crushing Fist. Don't you mean crushing fish? Rapid chop! What are we, Pokemon? Elbow thrust! And that's it! You committed them to memory? I, I guess? Like, I don't even really know what the questions will be for this. Like, maybe the only thing I can think of is that. Like, they'll have them do a form, we have to remember what it's called. But I don't really know how that's going to pop up as a question. Yeah, I've got them all down. Uh, likewise. Let's put our practice into practice! Well, on the park was filled with scores of students, and the instructional class began in earnest. Really, scores? I don't see a damn score. 
okay? Th that has an actual numerical value. For today's lessons, we'll be learning five forms. I brought in two experts who will demonstrate them. Over hers again, just to, in case it asks me. The twin crescent strike and swallow stance and then crushing fish and rapid chop. And I'll be watching everyone very carefully. Now then, begin! Third form, twin crescent strike. It was both, because it's a, it's, a, it's a twin. Okay, eighth form, crushing fist. I don't know, you like, bring your fist down? Yeah, it was, it was a downward motion. I gotta swing it upward. What the fuck are you talking about? What? What do you mean upward? That's a down motion! What? You don't swing it upward. You go down, then up. It's like a fucking V. You... Like, the, the part that you're actually hitting them with the down, and then you're... <laughs> Whatever, man. Swallow stance? I don't remember what the fuck this looked like. I was thinking it would just maybe make me remember their names. <laughs> if I was a swallow strike, I have no fucking clue. It's just to always go left. 21st form, rapid chop! Fuck! I don't know. I don't even know what this means. Palm heel to hand slice. What does palm heel mean? Oh. Palm. I mean, I... adequate performance. How would you adequately eat my ass? Downward. Oh, it's gonna go up. You gotta go down to go up, you stupid. Thanks to you, today's class went off without a hitch. Young people these days sure are something else. What are you gonna do about tomorrow? I expect my back should be fine by then, so I plan to teach the lesson tomorrow. You sure you'll be okay? I hope you die. I can help out again if you need be. I'm not sure if you need it, considering your age, you're in shockingly great shape. Your form's good too, maybe even too good. Some I doubt you're doing martial arts just to stay in good health. Well, I didn't expect to be found out after all these years. Allow me to let you in on a little known secret. In my youth, I stole techniques from many schools and made them my own. I'm a warrior of darkness who has imbued his hands in the blood of the greatest masters in all of Zemuria. My true identity is Bloodstained Fist Wang. <gasps> I've never heard that name before. Well, of course you have it. I made it the fuck up? Huh? I'm quite good at coming up with cool nicknames on the spot. Actually, I've named 80% uh, of the NPCs in this series. Bloodfist, Bloodstained Fist Wang. Yep, it's got a nice ring to it. I just don't mean to dress as such from now on. You can call me BFW if it makes you feel better. Big fucking Wang. <laughs> no. I can't believe I was fooled with this old coot. <laughs> you got me again. I can't believe it. This guy's a character. You're all characters. You sure you don't want to cut the 50 50 offer still on the table? Okay, at least he's offering to pay. I know, but I want you guys to have it all. I feel like I've already got my share anyway. Hey, we know what a bracer salary is, girly. There's no shame. We know you guys don't get paid for shit. This helped me discover a new way to spread the true Gekka throughout the world. And as a bonus, I got to learn about all you guys. What did you learn about Fairy and me? A few things. I don't even think Anya said anything. I think this is Anya's first word. <laughs> the biggest one being that you're exactly as you look. A couple of good kids. Aww, Fairy's probably murdered people. For the record. As you, Sprig, and I wrote you off as a shady person at first, which is part of why I was hesitant to work with you initially. Van also, uh, maybe. He's the main character, so it's hard to let the main character murder people. At best, you get like an accidental killing. 
And I shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I can tell you're diligent and disciplined given how polished from your Kunlun forms were. Yeah, he simply did his fist the wrong direction like a stupid idiot. I understand why Zin trusts you so much. I think you got the wrong idea about me. Just had a good master who drilled those forms into me. Won't complain about you having a better impression of us, though. Let's just leave it at that, then. All in a day's work. <laughs> Love to see it. One SP? Mira deposit confirmed. One SP? I got everything right except for one. And frankly, as far as I'm concerned, that question is wrong. He, his fist went down. It's a, it's a, it's a crushing strike. You, the crush go, you crush down. You don't crush up. You got, you got, you have so much less momentum coming up from that position. Or like not momentum, but like you, your force, right? Like you got no power doing like if you consider the strike being the upward part. You have way you more power on the down the part where you got fucking gravity helping you out. And your your full like gesticulation of your of your arm. I'm just saying that question's rigged. Like every question I get wrong. Every question I get wrong is rigged. You're Caroline, alright? We saw your quest. Did we? I have no clue who this lady is. We're from Arcod Solutions. Perfect, I've been waiting for you. Oh, shall we depart? Also, I saw you guys walk in like eight times before. Were you, were you like reluctant to take on my request? Something I'd like to ask you first. Why us? Also, what is your quest? Huh? I was wondering that too. We're not local, so I'm not sure if we would be best suited to your tour guides. Wait, tour guides? We already did a tour guide. This is my first time in Longport, actually. Oh, I know full well that giving tours isn't your primary area of expertise. But when a local guide asked me, uh, told me a skilled Spriggan was in town, I just had to meet you. It's like you popped right out of a novel. I thought it'd be much more fun to explore the Eastern Quarter with you all than my regular tour guide. I'm not sure how I feel about you coming to us just because we sound more fun than the alternatives. Well, what do you want to do, Van? Uh, this ain't the kind of work we usually do. I need to go away and get familiar with the area, though. Yeah, the area that I've already explored. I mean, honestly, we're pretty good for giving the tour. I know all the places. Bo show. I didn't get lost at the start of the video. The gig sounds simple enough, and the girls may like having some downtime. Yeah, why well, wouldn't I take it? Plus law, cringe. Alright, this is different from the request we normally take. We'll make an exception for you. Wonderful, thank you so much. Today is going to be a lovely day. Now I get to tour Longport too. Very. Very, what do you think the last three videos have been? I'm surprised. I thought he would turn this request down for sure. Actually, it's more like four videos or five. Because what we got here in like part 26. Well, I don't think we got, we got set free until 27. Because 26 is when we drive our car real fast. Vroom, vroom. Shall we head to the eastern quarter then? Yeah, let's bounce. We'll decide on where we go once we get there. Very well, then I'll leave the tour plan to you. Okay, time to get to work. Caroline is now accompanying the party. So beyond that gate lies the legendary Eastern Quarter, right? It's like a whole townscape of sheets of vermilion. How wonderful. Yep, the entire street was constructed according to the architectural style of the East. Lights that come from the lanterns and the wooden buildings give this place a warm, cozy ambiance. Eastern Quarter is both gorgeous and welcome, and you're gonna love it. So where should we go first? Shall we explore this street? Uh, we'll definitely want to hit the shops at some point. Or that, I think we should check out the Eastern Theater. I've never heard of that before. She's in for a surprise. Oh man, when you see the way these people spin around in a circle, you're gonna have your mind blown. It's a place that puts on a performance. We saw a show over there earlier and it was awesome. That sounds delightful. It's right over there. We'll tell you more about it once we're inside. 
That's Aaron for you. The way he shakes that thing. By God. Makes a man think. <laughs> oh my, it's awfully crowded in here. Is performance about to start soon, or is one just wrapped up? The latter, sadly. If you have some spare time later, I'd recommend coming back and watching one of their shows. They're a real treat. I'll certainly consider it. So what sort of performances do they put on here? They spin. That's what, that's what every performance is in, in this universe. People spin around, and then they jump 25 feet in the air. Which is pretty cool, admittedly. Do they host operas and musicals? Nah, they do Eastern performance art. Shows have singing in them, but the sword dancing's the main draw. Sword dancing? My word. They don't do anything of the sort at the Opera House in Arasion. Uh, operas mainly just need amazing singers, and Arasion has those in spades. Eastern theater requires a little more performative flair that can complement their elaborate narratives and set designs. What's the elaborate narrative that makes Aaron spin around like a damn Beyblade? And one of their dancers delivers the secret spice with finesse, and he's all the more popular for it. Right now, this place is the main attraction of the Eastern Quarter. Fascinating. Well, I'd certainly like to meet that popular dancer if I get the chance. That red-headed dancer was so dreamy. For real, I didn't even realize he was a guy until after the show. If looks could kill, I'd be sitting in the lap of Adios right now. I really hope he's in the next performance. I gotta burn his image into my mind before I head home. Those are the kind of fans he attracts. They sure like Aaron, didn't they? Is that the fate that awaits me if I see him on stage? Will I be lusting for him as well? I think we've seen enough of the Houston Theater. Want to check out the Main Street? I'd love to. Did we, did we talk to you? Yeah, we did. This place is the center of commerce for the Eastern Quarter. They've got everything from inoffensive tourist shops to quaint little stalls. The world's your oyster. I vote we go to the stalls. I'm famished. Me too, and my guidebook had said the food here was quite delicious. I think our course is set then. Let's see what these places have to offer. Uh, rice. This must be the hey, hey, friend. Got something you'll like. He's got sundries. How about him, Missy? Or should I say Mashi? What do you say to buying a Mashi doll? He's a new mascot of the Eastern Quarter. This cute little cat thing's gonna be blowing up real soon. Cute little cat thing? He's not a cat thing. He's a, he's a person. He's a friend, more importantly. There's something strangely charming about his listless expression. I'll take 20. I needed some souvenir gifts anyway. I'll give them to everyone in my family, my distant relatives, and all of my son's friends. Oh, you've got some deep pockets. I don't think twice we've given this scoundrel any money. He's scamming you. What? But he sounds like such a nice man. That's because I am a nice man. This is slander. I'll sue you for all your worth if you speak another word. Now back to the subject at hand. If you buy all these dolls, I'll throw in a genuine Eastern bracelet for your charge. And a premiere ball. It's too good a deal to pass up, don't you think? That's for Carolyn to decide. And I think it's a great deal, so I'll take the set. Your enthusiasm sold me. <laughs> I mean, it's a pleasure doing business with you, Mishi. Or should I say Mashi? <laughs> little little Mashi joke all of us uh, Mashi sellers have uh, between us. I think he has made this guy's name. But don't forget to make a Washi with Mashi. Fuck, it doesn't work as well. Don't forget to... Don't forget to get Mossy with Mashi. I don't know what the fuck that means. If you buy the stuff in the next 60 seconds, I'll throw in this stuffed animal and make it half price. What do you say? That's cheap. Don't fall for it. Alrighty. You've come to the right place. Why can't I buy a Mashi? Yeah, thanks as always. What is that? What is that? Better buy soon, so you don't miss out. Look as long as you'd like. Proverbs of Conformity. A book about creating ripples in the pool of conformity. Well, that sounds different. 
I see Proverbs of Conformity, I think, oh, this shit's about how it's actually good to be a square, but then apparently it's actually about being a square is bad. It does give six speed and six crit, which is kind of cool. Uh, what, what Thank is... Thank you! Look as long as you... Thank you! Asking for a friend, what the hell does the Mashi Strap do? Oh, it's five crit, six evasion. Anybody up getting a... Oh, wait. Oh, I already bought one for her. Well... And honestly, we, we need the CP. We need the C puzzle. Wow, I don't recognize any of these titles. Covers are quite unique. I think I'll pick up a few of my a few of them. I suppose it's acceptable for a book novice to make their purchasing decisions based on the cover. I see your eye in the Frontier Tribes a History of the War for Autonomy. That's a fascinating read. It's a frighteningly accurate account of one of the bloodiest wars in the East. It's filled with vivid, gory descriptions of I think I'll take a pass on that one. Maybe you'd like something that's light and breezy? How about this one? It's called The Beauty of the Eastern Handicraft? There's a lot of photos, so even just slipping through it should be fun. Sounds boring. Give me the blood and murder. That sounds right up my alley. I'll take it. You're choosing a picture book? Hmm, how pedestrian. Well, at least you're taking an interest in our culture, so I won't complain too much. This little girl's got an attitude. Even a child can be a tourist. If someone truly has an interest in Eastern culture, they would be better off reading a book if they wish to fill their knowledge gaps. Hey, miss anything, get your eye. As it happens, yes, there are all kinds of antiques here I've never seen in Arasion. These are really nice. I might grab one or two of them myself. Glad to hear it. We got everything from basic souvenirs to proper antiques. You want a pot? I got a pot. Right here. It's all used, but I put a lot of elbow grease into restoring them. Alrighty. We'll ship the larger antiques right to your doorstep. It's the least we can do for tourists like you. Could we? So, so do, do the other shops have dialogue too? Why? You do. Why are these vegetables soaked in this red stuff? What is this? What are those dishes? It certainly looks appetizing. Good eye, miss. This is a traditional Eastern fermented food plate. It's quite the rarity here, so if you're curious, I definitely recommend buying some. It's certainly tempting, but I might have to pass. The smell is a tad overbearing for a to-go meal. Yeah, it's a package deal. Weird, weird smell, but good taste. Let's see, I... I can't handle food that smells bad. It's like smelling bad is a huge deal breaker. And I'll admit, if it looks nasty, that affects it too. That's less of a deal breaker. I can get past food that just looks My gross. The best in town. I can't really get past food that smells gross. This place serves noodles, right? Is it just me or do these noodles have a weird shape? I prefer the word unique. They're also the best knife cut noodles you ever find. This just lets you enjoy classic Eastern flavors while basking in the skills of the master who cut them. If you haven't had them before, you should definitely try them once. Okay. It's over this way. Not this way. Okay. Fuck me then. Oh, good stuff right here. The very best. The very best. I brought some paying customers with you. Wonderful. What do you mean I look familiar? Oh, you're probably talking about my brother. Yeah, he teaches martial arts, but I'm the guy who runs the, the roach store. How about it, man? I'd be more than happy to give you a sample. What sort of food do you serve here? Uh, beetles. Uh, larva. All kind of creepy crawlies. Great question. Love to show you what I got. Here's my favorite caterpillar skewer. It's fresh off the grill. Uh, keep those away from me. After I spotted a caterpillar in my garden, I swore I'd avoid them for the rest of my life. To think I'd run into them here of all places, and what's even stranger is that they actually kind of smell good. 
Don't fall for it, ma'am. They'll give you food poisoning for sure. I don't... Probably not. I don't actually know. I mean, if it's cooked... I mean, pretty much anything if it's cooked is fine. I kind of doubt that. I'm actually heard they taste pretty good. I believe it when I taste them. And with all due respect, I don't think I'll be trying those anytime soon. Well, you're just going to dismiss this man's culture like that on yes? It's not very cash money, you girl. Okay, we've done the rounds. Now, would I eat the caterpillar? If I was around other people who were eating them, yes. I would succumb to peer pressure and do that much. But if it was just like, I'm by myself. Hey, sir, would you like a caterpillar skewer? Nah, I'm good. But if I was like a group of people and everyone was eating the caterpillar skewers, then yes, yes, I would, I would try one. I've gotten so much shopping done. I'm still surprised you tried the caterpillar skewers in the end. Me too, I guess I just figured I'd take a chance. It didn't taste as bad as I expected, but let's just say I won't be coming back for seconds anytime soon. See, that's probably how I would feel. I would, I would probably have a little bit more negative, but... I can't believe I just ate caterpillars. I want to throw up. Now, a caterpillar, I think I, I could eat a caterpillar before I could eat, like, a beetle or something. Where would you like to go next? Like, the idea of eating a beetle just, like, actually fucking gives me the squicks. Anything, like, crunchy like that. Ugh. At least a caterpillar is like, ooh. It's like a gummy worm. <laughs> just without the, you know, good good parts. I remember something as we were going from stall to stall. I mean, guess if you cook it, it's probably not as gummy anymore, but you know what I mean. A long time ago, I read a novel about a gangster here in Longport. A majority of the story took place in a bar. The book featured thrilling gambling matches. It was quite the page turner. That sounds interesting. What was it called? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Gonna be honest, I don't remember what the fuck happened in Gambling Jack either. I know those windows about races or something, right? They like bet on like the, the the race outcomes. I think that's the second one. I do not remember what the first one is about at all. There's, like, something, like, Jack's friend has the daughter to, I presume, I guess is Hale or something. I don't, I really do not remember the plot of those two. I remember liking the Gambling Jack books, but they also were kind of, like, not as memorable. None of the titles at the bookstore jumped out at me, so I think I might be out of print. That's a shame. Well, if I ever stumble upon it, I'll be sure to give it a read. Please do, I highly recommend it. The pub is here on the eastern quarter. I very much like to visit it. I've never gambled before, so I wouldn't mind trying my hand at it. Well, there's one pub here where gamblers of all types gather. Also, Van, have you, do you not know about the book? I was kind of figuring we were setting a van to be like, actually, the book is called Gambler Jack. You mean the bar that Jack's at? Yeah, that might be the one. Actually, did I even read the... No, yeah, because I think it gets reprinted in one of the later... Because isn't Gambler Jack the Sky 2 book? The first one? Or, you know, the first Gambler Jack? Because I didn't start collecting the books until I think Azur. And by I think Azur, I know Azur. Was the first one when we got all the books. Or I think we still... I think we technically missed one in the playthrough because it was that damn old lady sitting at the cemetery and it's like if you talk to her at the start of the chapter she doesn't give you the damn book but it's like half or not start of the chapter over like start of the day she's like no i'll never give you my book but it's like you have to come back and talk to her after a certain point in that day then it's like this one lady gets new dialogue and she's like here take a book but i think they show back up in like one of the cold steel games Whoa! It's more lively in here than I anticipated. The novel described it as being run down. Well, we still know this is the pub that appears in the book. What do you mean you don't know Van? Thought you knew everything. See, that's how you know Van just read like a plot summary of the first couple of games. He probably was like, oh, I can't play the Sky Trilogy because it's like locked up PC and like PSP. So, like, I had to watch and re read the damn plot synopsis. 
Hey, Evan. Who's this fancy lady you got with you? Oh, great timing. This woman asked us to bring her here. Apparently, one of our favorite novels takes place at a bar in the Eastern Quarter. Is she wanted to check the place out? A novel? This may be a silly question. But are people allowed to gamble here? I normally don't partake in those kind of activities, but I'd really like to give it a try. Well, you've come to the right place. A lot of people are here are gambling aficionados. And since you're a beginner, though, you'll only be able to do low-state games. Is that okay? Of course. If anything, I'd prefer that. I get the cards ready. Hey, Van, you're joining us. What? Uh, don't I get a say in this? I'll be cheering you on. Show us what you got. Why am I getting dragged into this? Quit whining. It's not like you were doing anything in particular. I'll let y'all pick the game. I'm trying to pick something like fucking Euchre. <laughs> what all do you normally play? There's only one game, lady. Poker, Blackjack, Baccarat. Nobody knows how to play two of those. Okay, well, I know how to play poker, kind of. Like, basically, Blackjack plays itself, and Baccarat, I don't really know how the fuck Baccarat works. Want to give them all a go? I'm fine with that. For these games, we'll do 10 mirror per chip. Get ready, I'm about to crush you guys. Hopefully this will wake me up a little. It's okay, even if you beat him, uh, he wasn't really trying. And so everyone played a variety of card games and gambled their hearts out. Since Jack and Hale went easy on Caroline, she had a good time. How do you go easy on somebody in cards, by the way? I mean, I guess you could fold if you had like a winning hand in poker. But like... I mean, I, I guess actually it's not that. You would just really make really dumb decisions. Because in Blackjack, you could just, you know, hit when you shouldn't hit. I guess. I don't know how Baccarat works. But at the same, well, I guess if you don't know the hands, you wouldn't know that someone had folded without, had folded while having a winning hand or something. Like, that would be kind of insulting. <laughs> if it's like, oh, this person would have won, but they just let me win. But maybe if you don't know the hands, because you're like a complete novice, then you wouldn't know that they had thrown the match. I had so much fun, I better be careful, I may develop a gambling addiction. Like a plop right into the thick of it, that novel. Glad to hear it. I'd love to have you back anytime, except at night. Things get a little rowdy around here. I mean, we came in at fucking like 11 o'clock and they tried to sexually assault a 13 year old. I don't know if I want to know how what it's like at nighttime. Alright, the only place you want to go? I think I've seen everything I wanted to. There's one more place I'd like to visit, actually. Gotcha, where do you want to go? I made an acupuncture reservation at a place here in the Eastern Quarter. Evidently, the treatment can improve blood flow. Really? The only place around here that does those kind of treatments is Long Kai Clinic. That's where I made the reservation. Oh yeah, that's where that other place. That's where I was trying to go, I think. I think that's the clinic over there. It's not far from here. I'll show you where it is. Lead the way, Van. And they said, no, it's not time yet. Or no, actually, it's over here. What's over here? Oh, is that just the hotel, maybe? Because I do see it has the laptop. I don't know what the shops are for. This is Long Kai Clinic? Yes, it is. Are you ready to get your acupuncture treatment? Uh, yes and no. I admit, I don't like the idea of having multiple needles stuck in my body. However, I dislike my stiff shoulders and back pain even more, so I'll endure it. Pretty hardcore for a tourism activity. I respect you for trying it out. I kind of want to give it a go, too. It might be a great way to recover stamina on the battlefield. Uh, I don't think that would be very practical, Fairy. Now then, I believe this marks the end of my sightseeing journey. Thank you so much for showing me around. No prob. Give me the money. I mean, I hope you have fun or whatever. And then she was never seen again. Ooh, never took on a request like that before. I think we did a pretty good job. Man, I should thank you as well. You accepted a request in part so that Fairy and I could relax and enjoy some sightseeing too, right? Nah. I accepted it because it existed. Wait, really? I guess I did have a ton of fun and it didn't feel like work at all. Thanks, Van. You're such a nice boss. I always like the gig because it'd make us mirror. Don't get the wrong idea. 
I'm gonna work you twice as hard now. Back to Intel Gathering. Yes, sir. Okie dokie. And I'm all rested up. I'm ready to get back on the field. Mission accomplished. Great job, you guys. Mira deposit confirmed. I had a wonderful time. You have my gratitude. I don't want that so fast. All that's left is the acupuncture treatment. I'll admit I'm scared, but I'll persevere. My shoulder and back pain will soon be history. <sighs> I mean, maybe. Do you know what you want? No. I hope to see you again. Do you know what you want? You don't even sell the, the good tier bombs. I hope to see you again. He says with a voice that says, please, if you return, I will kill you with my laser eye vision. No need to be shy now. Gambit Sour Cocktail. See you again. All right, well, we're at 40 minutes. So it turns out that main story action will have to remain a a hope and a prayer for an, for another video for a future time and or place. Hello there. You're telling me a guiha for add this rice? See you again. What's the second shot? Oh yeah, you're this guy. You don't need to be shy like, now. Mm, does anybody want some junk? Anyone want a square backpack? A backpack that holds more than one might expect. See you again. Yes. Inside this backpack is a dirty bomb. Alrighty. Next time we will, uh... What are we doing? Guess we're doing something in Newtown? Let's do this. Oh, heading to the Harbor District. Oh, okay. Oh, a new district? You know what happens in new districts? Well, my voice gets kind of clogged up and I sound terrible. A There's a new movie! Oh my god! But also... With a new district comes... Understood. You, you guessed it. New NPCs. I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Oh, Fairy, where'd you go? I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. Okay. And bye, guys.